so what if I write about people getting killed in horrific ways just about every day? I mean, I'm still a pretty nice guy. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Writer's Block. I'm Brantley J. Brown, head writer for Horror House Media. Okay, so today we're going to talk about Stalk. It's a little short film that Horror House did a couple of months ago. You might remember it. Um, in case you don't, let me give you a little recap so you can get up to speed before we head into the discussion. So, check this out. So in the summer of 2018, Horror House Media was just a little bean of an idea. We only had one script at the beginning, which was Soundbite, co-written by myself and Michael Cologne. We knew we had a really strong story with it, but we also recognized the fact that for Horror House Media to grow into something, we needed to have a, sort of a back catalog of ideas to choose from. Um, so I went to work on uh, coming up with some plots that might be easily executable in short film format, and the first one that I wrote on my own for Horror House was Stalk, and its original title was Bump in the Night. Um, it was a super simple script. It only took me a couple hours to write, um, but it was very much an homage and a love letter to films like... Halloween, um, which are my favorite classic horror films. Um, everyone loved the script, but we kind of forgot about it. We got busy into um, pre-production for Soundbite uh, in late August of that summer, and we started filming it in September. Uh, by that time I already had another script that everyone had gotten really excited about for Horror House called uh, Bag of Tricks, and just sort of where the timing put us, we decided to do Bag of Tricks, which was a Halloween-themed film, um, as the next project. So Stalk just kind of got put to the wayside, you know, not because we didn't like it, we just, uh, it didn't fit into our schedule. Well... As things sometimes happen in the film industry, uh, we had some business deals fall through and we just didn't have the money to do Bag of Tricks. So we found ourselves a week or less before production was supposed to start on the second film and we didn't have a project. So I started flipping through a lot of the short scripts that I had and I came back across stock. Um, and I remember how much fun I thought it was going to be and how simple it would be to do. So I revamped that script um, and sent it to Michael. And we decided that we could do it super cheap and super fast and get something released before the end of 2018. Um, and that's sort of kind of how Stalk's journey really began. Stalk is definitely, definitely, definitely reminiscent of Halloween. Um, uh, and that is no accident at all. <laughs> um, I wanted to invoke that feeling in the script. I wanted to have the slow burn, the tension of that same kind of, uh, you know, that, that same scare factor that John Carpenter so brilliantly executed in, um, the original Halloween, when uh, Michael Myers would be uh, stalking Laurie Strode. Um, the one thing that did change from the original draft to what we ended up filming was that we decided to create a bigger world for Horror House. Um, instead of having a bunch of short films that were going to be standalones, they were all going to be interconnected with each other. And we decided to start laying the seeds for that with Stalk. So I went back in and wrote in the script that at the beginning there's a missing person's flyer um, that the killer is going to rip down off of a tree or a, a, um, a light pole. And that 
was done so that we could set up a character that we would revisit um, in a later film about the stalker. Uh, which we actually just finished the script for that and we're about to go into production on the prequel to Stalk. So, super excited. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, um, it was a super great um, testament to independent filmmaking for Stalk. Uh, you know, we didn't have a lot to go off of with the script because I wrote it so fast and tried to make it so simple that it allowed for us to, you know, allowed isn't even the right word, it, it kind of forced us into a situation where we had to be super creative on set and think on our toes. Um, and I am so grateful to having a director like Michael Colomb because he worked with me very closely during filming so that we remain tr uh, true to the sentiment of the film, but he allowed me to help make it grow. Um, and I think that it turned out brilliantly well. Uh, it's one of my favorite films that we've done. I love all of the films that we've done, but Stalk is definitely, definitely fun. It has a very 80s slasher vibe, um, and I'm all about that. <laughs> um, and, and it felt like such a family uh, situation, you know, everybody on set, our director of photography, Richard Trejo, um, our leads, uh, Kara Schaaf, who plays the character of Vanessa, and, um, Tyler Gallant, who is the stalker, and by the way, that man is scary. He is scary. Nicest guy you'd ever meet, but as the killer, super scary. Um, I just can't say enough about how good of an experience Stalk was from the writing all the way up until the filming. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys what we do next with the characters that we set up in that film. Um, so I guess that's all I got for you today about uh, Stalk. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.